How's it going everyone? Sephir here and welcome back to another Tower of Fantasy video. This is going to be day 36 in the Ultimate Guide series and we have free red nucleus that are coming into the game and a lot of other goodies alongside of the Artificial Island 1.5 patch drop and Claudia tomorrow. Many special and new events and man it is going to be a time in Tower of Fantasy let me tell you. So we're going to go ahead and break down this video. The first section is going to have the important news and things you're going to want to know absolutely the next section is going to have a speed run daily checklist which will be very fast the extra daily checklist and finally the after all that section where we talk about some things for long-term goals as well as some thoughts in the end so let's go ahead and start off with number one on our list artificial island september 15th it is coming super fast very fast to the game and with it is going to bring a whole new area of in-game content so we are going to get new bosses the interdimensional frost dragon housing crafting raids there's going to be a story catch up for all of that stuff so there's going to be a lot of good things and i do want to mention that you should probably have your story prepared ready to go to the next step where it says a new chapter is coming because i believe that is the requirement to get into artificial island so just go ahead and have everything uh you know checked off before your uh, the release of this event. So this is going to be absolutely massive. I'm super excited to get in there and check it out. And I'm going to have some videos coming out today uh, and maybe even tomorrow for guides for artificial islands. I'm going to show you what to do when you get in there first so you know exactly what you're doing and you're not going to be lost and confused because, man, it's a big space. Let me tell you, there's a lot of things you could definitely do there. So we'll have a bunch of that stuff coming up today, so be sure to be tuned for that. Next, we'll talk about Claudia Banner will be coming up along with her matrices, which are very strong. If you guys haven't seen those Claudia matrices, they might change the way the game is played. Like, all of a sudden, ultimates become a huge DPS source with those matrices. So that could be very, very powerful, and we'll see how that plays out in the meta. But I did want to issue a small warning if you are preparing to level up Claudia, and that's something you want to do. Make sure you have plenty of nanofibers. You want to go here and make sure you have these things, nanofiber frames, as well as the uh, the gold material because you will need a lot of them remember you have to level from scratch so make sure you're checking that one out and you are well prepared right make sure you're well prepared then we have new events coming to the tower of fantasy which are going to be quite massive there are a lot of new events so we have the login supplies event and i'll go ahead and pop these up on the screen here we also have the ida cafe event and then vera orienteering what what are are we getting Vera sooner than we thought? Are we getting this really soon? Uh, go ahead and comment down below. What do you think this event means? Go ahead and speculate. But it looks like for the login supplies event, we're getting the free standard 13 gold new or sorry, red nucleus, even better than gold nucleus, which is going to be absolutely massive to help us summon for these characters. So great news for all the free to play players. And then the Ida Cafe event will come with a banner, a frame, a title more red nucleus five more and the special voucher for the uh red summons for matrices so that's always going to be nice to see as well and then coming up on the 27th of september it looks like they put in something called vera orienteering uh, i don't understand does that mean vera's on the 27th are we getting it shortly after that because in order to you know race in vera we kind of need to be in vera right guys so uh, what do you think do you, do you think it's launching on the 27th do you think it's going to be shortly after that but regardless the rewards include another chat bubble an avatar frame a title space time rift shard or which is going to be or sorry relic the whole thing like the whole sh the whole shebang you're going so that'll be like 30 shards if you already have a space time rift which is going to be fantastic five or six more red nucleus as well as some ultimate equipment which is going to be really nice so getting that sort of boost in is going to be very very massive so th i'm excited about this and, and i really want to know what this vera orienteering is that's the big question mark right here right because that's throwing all like that's throwing my mind into a spiral i'm like wait a minute are we like artificial island and then just rushing into 2.0 vera it's like is lynn coming out super fast is ruby coming out super fast what's happening uh, so that's definitely really great news and i like to see all of that progressing 
Next, we're going to talk about the shop pack resets. So if you go to the settings or when you log in, you will see the news section. You can go down to the gift pack reset area and it will show you what's going to be resetting when Artificial Island comes out. So when Artificial Island comes out, you will be getting a lot of the red nucleus packs back, which is great news for light spenders, dolphin players, because you can purchase all these up for bundle value and get a lot of bang for your buck. So that's going to be really nice. And there's some arrival of some new packs as well, including one that's like a super special pack that ends on the 21st. I don't know why this one ends before everything else, uh, but just keep that in mind. There might be some pretty good deals to help us get Claudia and a couple of these other things for a pretty cheap discounted price which is always nice to see then after we have that we're going to talk about eight player raids so eight player raids are coming i showed you guys yesterday the claudia video if you haven't seen that already go ahead and check it out i'll put a link in the description down below but that is the first raid boss in the eight player raids so you're going to be fighting the scarlet uh apothis guy and he is very powerful so i think that eight player raids are going to be pretty difficult but not extremely difficult at the low level version because remember these are like the level 60 version type deals so you might want to start getting your team together get your eight friends that you have in mind or your crew members or start a team of eight people you know try to try to maybe include one whale in there or something if you got a whale friend and then have a bunch of players and and you know and I encourage all the whales to to help out everybody else if you can uh try to get them through there but i'm pretty sure this content will be suited for around the 30 to 40 thousand cs range so that's going to be the ideal so if you have a good team that is prepared and you're ready to like make a plan and execute it i think you will be okay so that should be really fun in terms of the eight player raid. So remember that damage is kind of the prime goal there and staying alive as well. Cause like a full wipe means you're done, right? So it's going to be a reset of the character. So having healers will be very important. A tank that actually knows how to tank and doesn't just like do negative zero damage and sit there like a sponge or like a giant meat wall and does nothing. <laughs> but, um, you know, some people that have some coordination with the game, it will definitely go a long way. And you should be able to get some nice rewards, including gold dust from that. So that's very exciting to talk about. Then following that, I wanted to issue a final warning, and this is for the Road of Strife. There are hours, yes, mere hours left for the shop. So make sure you have purchased everything you want to get and you've capped for the day, got your free daily limit gold, whatever you need to do, uh, because all of this stuff will be going away in about six hours from the post of this video. So make sure to be on top of that. Make sure you have bought the things you wanted to buy and you've completed the event before it is gone forever. All right, so with that out of the way, then let's talk about the wormhole. The wormhole has a few reset that had just happened, so you should have received your whatever uh, you've gotten for the amount of points you had. So for me, it was 400 gold dust, which is really nice. And with that, that means that the Ursa Major wormhole has reset on the endless mode, so you can clear this one time for 240 dust total on all eight floors. So that's going to be really good. So make sure you are checking that out. And then I have an update to Void Rifts, because I know a lot of you were checking out Void Rifts before, and they're like, I got all the bosses, but where'd the gold nuclear? We don't know what happened. The cake was a lie. This was terrible. So the gold nucleus seemed to not be happening. It's just not a thing. So uh, we'll have to see what goes on later on into the game. But for now, the only thing it seems like you can get is the dark crystals. And on that note, I do want to say that Hyena is the boss for me today. It might be different for you, but go ahead and check it and make sure you're aiming towards that collection because this is definitely a guy I need. And I hopefully I don't forget to do him like I did Frig, which would uh, definitely be pretty nice here. So go ahead and aim for the collection on that. And that should put you in a good spot there. Now, once we have covered all that, we're going to dive into the speedrun daily checklist. So first and we're foremost, we're going to go super fast on this because we know the drill now, right, guys? We know the drill. So the first thing you want to do every day is your bounties. Once you have done your bounties, make sure you're caught up for your new story because that's going to be important for Artificial Island. Following that, check out your runes if you need experience. If you don't need experience, go ahead and save them. And then Mia's Kitchen. Make sure you've claimed all three charges for the day because they do not roll over to the next. Then make sure you are doing your vitality and you are not capped for the day. A good spend is on three-star stargates or the joint operations for gold gear. 
either one, it's up to you. And then finally, we talk about experience. So you should be level 63 right now. Hopefully you have filled up this bar by the end of today because tomorrow we will have Artificial Island and you're gonna wanna trigger that level 64 right as you go in there to give you that nice boost. And then you're gonna get some experience from a lot of sources, including the Artificial Island. So it's gonna be super easy to level. It's gonna be mega relaxed. So do not sweat it at all. You guys will be okay because we're gonna have many days, like three more days before we even see level 65. So it's gonna be quite a while. So just go ahead and coast and enjoy all the content that the game has to offer. Next, we have the extra daily checklist, which is gonna include your training. Make sure you head to the challenge section and check out your training. Alongside of that, go with the daily gifts. Go to Hopkins in the black market, as well as Cetus Island for the three-time claw machine attempt. And then head to Hycros to gather the machine parts, which you will use to maintain your vehicles after that for dark crystals, as well as color mount variants. And then head to the shop section and check out the daily supply box for Mia and the hot section for your vitality solution by however much you feel is appropriate for you and then you can move on to the support point cap make sure you have 1500 support points by the end of the day so you can save up for all the goodies in the commissary shop and then tracking down the elemental ore in the world fire ice and lightning that will help you improve your armor so that'll be the good things to focus on. And finally, after all that, make sure you are caught up with your mounts and your achievements because Artificial Island is coming out and you will be leaving Asperia behind. So go ahead and make sure to start focusing on those points and that should put you in a very nice position for the upcoming patch. All right, what are your guys' thoughts? Are you excited for Artificial Island 1.5 patch? Are you excited for Claudia and her matrices? Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you're looking forward to the most. I'm very curious and interested to hear that. Keep in mind that we have a Twitch stream starting tonight at 5.30 p.m. EST. With that stream, I think we're gonna be finally affiliate. So that means we can have a subscribe button. I know a lot of you have been asking for that. And we will be getting back into the YouTube streams here very shortly, especially for Artificial Island, and expect some early gameplay streams for Artificial Island. I know that the news said that everything is resetting at about, uh, what was that? Um, it said it's something like 5 a.m. So I think by 5 a.m. Artificial Island will be up. I'm not going to do a 5 a.m. stream on September 15th, but it'll probably be around like lunchtime. So you could expect a stream right around there, and I'll show you guys a bunch of good stuff within there. So it should be some fun times. With that out of the way, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for the video if you enjoyed this content or found it useful. And we will see you in the next one.